Hi, family and friends. Um, I'm sorry, you probably can't see me very clearly because I don't really have much light on. But as everyone knows, it's freezing outside, like literally freezing. So I'm in my minivan on my way west and me and my travel buddies decided to stop at a state park and we're plugged in. And while I don't have an RV, I do have my extension card and I have my electric heater. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm plugged in. So I'm keeping warm, but it's still freezing. And to make sure that I keep <laughs> a lot of the cold from getting into the van, I have all of my windows blocked. I have my window covers and blankets on my two biggest windows to make sure I keep the, the air out. But anytime the temperatures at night are like nine degrees, nine? Yeah, we figured being plugged up was probably the best thing. And for a couple of nights, because my travel buddies, their vehicles are a little more high profile. So it would have been much worse for them trying to drive in the wind. And I'm pretty much thankful. You can probably hear the little heater blowing. I'm thankful that we did plug in. But yeah, this is what happens, I guess, when you're on the road. I mean, sometimes you just get this really weird weather. So it's great to get out and have a great time and enjoy your life, but you do have to stay weather aware. Let me give you a quick look around. <laughs> okay, it's not pretty, but I have my blackout shades, and then I put a big blanket. And right now I don't have the front windows covered, but as you can see, I have bungees and blackout curtains to cover all around. Even in the back, I have blackout blankets. And you know what? It's really been working. So basically, I'm here with my little pad. There's my little heater. It is doing the job. And heat rises, so I have it slightly lower than my bed, which I'm sitting on right now. And, oh, another thing. I have a sleeping bag. I put a sleeping bag on top of my mattress, so I don't ever go on the road without my sleeping bag. I usually don't need it, but anytime I'm out during winter months, I keep a sleeping bag. So that does most of the work for me. So I have plenty of blankets. I'm nice and closed in, plugged in with my little heater have my little pad with some downloaded movies, even have my laptop to get a few things done, you know, for the nonprofit that I deal with. But yep, have my nice little sleeping bag so I'm nice and toasty. But we're heading out tomorrow. Um, tonight's gonna be the second night that we're staying at the state park and I haven't been outside exploring. It's cold. I've gone to the trash once. I went straight to the, <laughs> to the dumpster and came straight back to my rig it is so cold none of us are hanging out today as i'm sure you can understand but yeah that's it but you know what something funny i woke up this morning and i felt i felt like i was in a mood of um complaining and i don't like to start my mornings like that because it was really cold although i had the heater on i had turned it off at some point because it got a little hot so i woke up cold and I immediately decided to start writing in my journal about what I was grateful for, because this is a great journey. So I immediately got over myself and the fact that it's freezing outside and just started looking at the bright side. So just a little tidbit I wanna throw in there. Even when we're in some situations that aren't ideal, always look at what you can be grateful for. Okay, YouTube family and friends, have great holidays, be safe, See you soon. Bye.